If you're a cat owner or bringing a new cat into your home, you probably have lots of questions about the vaccinations that your cat should have. It's important to realize that vaccinations vary based on location and based on your cat's exposure to the environment and other cats. So the number one partner in this is your veterinarian. Some people can be a little nervous that their veterinarian might recommend vaccines that their cats don't need. But if you have an honest conversation with them, many veterinarians are very interested in working with you to make sure that your cat is not over vaccinated because our goal is to have happy, healthy cats that live as long as possible. If you're thinking about taking your cat into the veterinarian, they are definitely going to recommend that you get a rabies vaccine. That's because it has to happen legally. It's also just really important because if your cat happens to be bitten or to bite somebody else, the procedures that happen if your cat doesn't have a current vaccine history for rabies can be strikingly different from a cat who's current on that vaccine. So if you're only going to get one vaccine, make sure that you have the rabies vaccine. Another vaccine that people find relatively difficult to decide on is the feline leukemia vaccine, or sometimes called Feluc. This vaccine is often not needed for many indoor cats. However, if your cat's going to be indoors and outdoors, or if you plan to bring different cats into your environment, such as if you happen to foster cats or share cats with other people, or if you have cats that come in just in the neighborhood, you're going to want to talk to your veterinarian about whether that vaccine is right for your cat. Another common vaccine is the so-called distemper vaccine. This vaccine contains multiple agents that protect your cat from infectious diseases. It's really important to talk with your veterinarian about whether this vaccine is right for your cat, but most vets will say it's a good thing to do at least for the first few years of life, and then they may alternate whether they give it every year or not. But that's gonna depend on a conversation with you. And that's some great information about vaccines. Mm -hmm.